guys welcome back to my channel happy 2020 my name is Andy if you're new here and this is our first video of the year seriously I hope that you guys had an amazing festive season I had a blast I was working a lot I also did get to spend some time with people I love so that was really good today's video is going to be just my everyday flight attendant work makeup routine looks something like this <laughs> very simple very easy to do uh, in a short amount of time so you don't have to spend an hour and a half in front of the mirror every single day before a flight so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys a little bit later let me just get my hair i'm not a beauty youtuber I don't generally do makeup routines or or videos like that, you know, but I thought that it would be fun now that I have like a set routine. I, I still don't really know if what I'm doing is the right way or anything like that, but the fact that I have like my own set routine for my makeup, I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm starting by filling in my eyebrows with this LA Girl eyeliner in brown black I don't know if you can oh I love getting to do this <laughs> um, and I'm just filling them in a little bit I don't necessarily like draw my eyebrows on I kind of just fill them in a little bit because they're like a little bit of a wonky shape like my eyebrows are not the same shape at all like they're they're similar but not quite so I just try to fill them in just to make them look a little bit more a little bit more together you know I don't know if that makes any sense and I am just using God's good natural lighting for this video I do not have a ring light I don't have any of that fancy stuff but um, yeah one thing that I realized has helped me tremendously is concealer on my eyes. I have very oily skin and generally when I put eyeshadow on my eyelids and stuff, after like two flights in the day, I need to reapply because then it like gets oily and starts like clumping up a little bit. I didn't realize that concealer was the way to go to keep the eyeshadow in place. Um, because I would see other YouTubers putting concealer on their eyelids, but I feel like they used it more to like shape their eyebrows and they never actually like explained the benefits of like your eyeshadow staying in place if you put concealer on. So yeah, I don't necessarily use the concealer. I don't use a lot of concealer and I don't use it to shape my eyebrows. Like I told you, I just fill in my eyebrows and I don't necessarily like to put concealer under my eyes because I realized that once I bake it, it looks really crusty under my eyes and I, I, just, I really don't like that. It looks like I'm, I don't know, like I'm sick or something. Anyway, I use the, I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the shade Sandalwood um, and that has been my favorite thing, my favorite foundation thus far seriously because it just it does wonders like it stays in place the entire day it's like full coverage because i do still have some like i do still have like some marks from like pimples and stuff because i'm a human being and i pick up my pimples i know i'm told not to but i mean yeah i'm i'm human so i know i still sound sick to you guys I, will, I don't know if you can actually hear it in the video, but I can hear it myself that I still sound pretty damn sick. You will see more of that in my what I spend in a week video. I'm pretty sure that that video will be up after this one, but I'm filming this one in order to film the intro for that video. <laughs> so I thought if I'm already getting ready to film a video, I might as well kill two birds with one stone and film myself also getting ready and putting my everyday makeup on well it's my everyday work makeup by the way like i don't just wear makeup every single day for no reason um but yeah so i just decided to film this even though i'm technically just putting on makeup just so that i can film for that video but you will see that video after this one i'm sure 
it's what I spend in a week and during my week of course I got ill I have a cold right now um, and I've been flying and I'm today is my day six I'm meant to be flying tonight as well but I have already booked off because I will not be able to do today's flight because last night when I um, was flying we were descending into Durban and my ears so the whole day yesterday my ears were really quite um, blocked the whole day and then last night when we were descending into Durban my ears got really really sore my left ear is still blocked right now it's still pretty sore um, and the doctor had only given me some like nasal sprays and nothing for my ears specifically because we thought it was just like a chest cold we didn't think that it would like bother my ears at all so that kind of sucks now I'm suffering for that and I really don't want to take the chance and fly with a blocked ear or something because I don't know if you guys know this but if you're a flight attendant and something happens to your ear if you rip your eardrum or something which can happen because of the air pressure when we're flying it can really damage your ear damage your hearing and then you won't be able to get a medical and you won't be able to like obtain your medical and then you actually won't be able to fly so that's why we take it really seriously if you are supposed to fly when you have flu and stuff so yeah it kind of really really sucks this is my i'm pretty sure this is like beauty revolution revolution makeup revolution london yeah it's my you can't see it in the front but this is the palette that i'm using and as if you and you can see it's it's been through a lot because it stays in my carry-on bag as well but you can tell this is the shade I use the most often I'm actually usually very happy just using this shade of eyeshadow and I just put that pretty much all over my eye like this is the most basic and simple thing and I also find that the more complicated my makeup is the more time I need to touch it up during the day whereas if it's like this then I still look somewhat put together by the end of the day even if it was like a really long like hectic day and stuff especially if everything stays in place then I'm usually like super happy with it and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush take the darker shade and just do that use that on the outer part of my eye just a little bit like it's still not even I don't think you you'll actually be able to tell I just I don't know I just like the look of it because it looks a little bit like um, it's fading a little bit darker on my eye I don't know if you can tell though on camera Let's blend that blend that I don't know if you guys can tell but that's pretty much as good as the eyeshadow gets and then after that I take my highlighter palette my Maybelline Master Bronze Highlighter Palette and I take this highlighting shade and I put that under my eyebrows just to add a little bit of highlight there because that makes a difference like I don't know but that to me makes a huge difference compared to just that that looks like I'm still asleep that looks like you know I'm ready for this flight <laughs> Um, the other day when I was signing on, this one girl in the airport recognized me. I was signing on for like a really early flight. I'm sure it was 5 o'clock in the morning or something. And she came up to me and she was like, Are you that girl from YouTube that does the flight attendant stuff? And I was like, Yes! I am. But it was so funny. I am so awkward in person, you guys. Like I felt so bad afterwards, but it was like 5 o'clock in the morning and I was still like fast asleep when she was talking to me by the time i realized what had just happened like i was already in the office i was already signing on and i was like oh crap like that must not have been a very good impression that i made on her and if it was you and you're watching this i'm so sorry i'm just very awkward in person and especially at five o'clock in the morning you caught me by surprise and i just don't know how to act in times like that like that was literally the first time somebody has not the first time but that was probably like i can still count on one hand how many times people have recognized me from my youtube channel so it's like one of those very awkward 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 things because i do make my videos for real people and i hope that i can interact with you guys 
when you run into me and stuff but then when you do it's kind of surreal it's like I don't know for me it ends up being like wait what is even happening right now <laughs> you know so um, I hope you didn't think that I was like rude or anything I hope that you like you know understand it was five o'clock in the morning so I also added this highlighter shade to the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten those up a little bit and then I use my extra 3d lash from Rimmel London I don't necessarily have a mascara that I like like more than any other I literally just whenever I run out of mascara I buy a new one and it'll be whatever is like the cheapest or looks like it will make the most difference to my eyelashes and then that's the one that I end up buying like this one's pretty good if you can tell like because I have I don't have anything on this eye and this eye do have mascara so it makes a difference so I think it's worth it um, but I like to try different ones but I've noticed that I really like the Rimmel London brand of mascaras and I pretty much always buy one of those even if it's like a different type of mascara it's still always like Rimmel London I have baking powder by the way you guys I just don't really like using it as I said like especially with the concealer under my eyes it just makes my eyes look so crusty if I bake with this if I bake with anything really but I will use it during the day if I can see that like I'm getting super oily then I'll use it just to mattify my skin but otherwise I usually just take this powder just to like kind of go over everything this is this is Revlon color stay is there a shade I don't even know yeah the shade is hazelnut and I just take some of this and I literally just go over my entire face with this that's it because it also is kind of mattifying so you know I'll use this in the beginning of the day and then throughout the day if I start getting oily I use my setting I use my setting powder because I don't know I like I don't know the logic in my beauty routine this is literally just what I do and it just has worked for me so that's it that's 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 the sense I make of it and then to like add a little bit of definition to my face I take literally all three colors and I like just put my brush in all three of them and then I just put that on my cheek it's supposed to be I'm guessing I'm supposed to be like what's the word again contouring right now but I don't really bother I highlight more than I contour and then I take my brush dip it in the highlighting pot and I just highlight like the tops of my cheeks with that guys this is like the most simple makeup routine you'll ever see in your life and it's probably the least professional as well and I probably look like a ghost but you know what passengers and my crew told me I look good so I'm gonna stick with that and then you guys know I don't really like to put on lipstick before I leave the house I'd rather put on lipstick when I'm in the car usually because I carry like a flask of coffee and I don't like getting my lipstick smudged and all over the cup so I just go to work like this and then when I'm in the car just before I get out of the car I put some lipstick on right now this is my favorite it's the essence can you see that it is the essence matte 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 Ooh. <laughs> whoops it's the matte 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 long lasting lip gloss and it is very creamy I really like it sometimes I will actually put my matte like long lasting lipstick under here it's the same shade and then I just put this one on top just to keep my lips moisturized but right now this is the one that I like it's a really nice red color okay there we go I also have like a lip pencil that I'll put on but I'll usually put the lip pencil if I'm using just the mattifying lipstick the other one but this one I'll just use it as a lip gloss just to touch up throughout the day especially when when you have matte lipstick on you know it starts to like come off like on the inner edges of your mouth and stuff I'll just touch it up with this stuff throughout the day so that I don't have to like really focus too much and spend too much time on it if you are like a makeup fanatic and you have any tips for me please leave them in the comments below I would love to hear back from you guys I'm always willing to learn more especially when it comes to like makeup and stuff because you guys know I'm not very yeah this was not a Tandi Gama makeup routine 
Okay guys, so that is the look. That is my everyday flight attendant makeup routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a massive thumbs up. I will leave a list of the products that I used in the description box below, but it's pretty much the same things that I used in my previous makeup video. So yeah, but I will update it and just, you know, I'll tell you the names of the things. Most of these things I got from Diskem. I don't think I went to any specialty store except maybe I got this foundation at, it was either Fashini or Edgar's. I'm not too sure, but you know, you can find it in several retailers in South Africa. But anyway, this is generally how I wear my makeup every day to work. I put my hair in a little bun and I'm good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind and I will see you on the next video. Bye!